Warning, I swear a lot. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Welcome back to the Zombie Walkers mod. So I did it for Christmas, and now it's a ton of fun, and I really enjoy doing it, and it's an excellent mod. And I've been playing it a bit in my off time, what little time I get between making videos. And I needed a shorter video today, so I wanted to just kind of, you know, play it, really. I wanted to show you guys what this was all about, and I wanted to... A, just show you what's going on, and B, show you what's involved with going to do a quest. Because it's never as simple as just, oh, well, I'll swing by over there and do that quest and maybe take care of some other stuff around there. It's typically a whole ordeal, if you know what I mean. Like, for instance, right now, I'm using a pipe revolver, which is a weapon I would never dream of using normally. But here, it's actually more applicable. I've often found, actually, that at least so far, I'm still quite low level. I think I'm at level 9 or something, is it? 12. Oh, higher than I thought. But my point is that stopping power is not the most important thing here. Not with the sheer amount of zombies and how resistant they are to, say, torso shots. The most important thing when it comes to dealing with zombies in this game is accuracy and consistent headshots. That is the most important thing. And you can achieve that with a 38 pipe rifle. You can also achieve it with a fucking double-barreled shotgun, and I can tell you it's very effective. But... We can't take everything we want with us whenever we go on a mission or expedition or what have you, because it just takes up too much weight. Guns are heavy and ammo does weigh something in survival mode. So you have to take a lot into consideration. You also need supplies. You need food, you need medicine, you need water, you need healing items. Drugs can help. Drugs can always help. You need to consider how much armor you're wearing. I've gone fairly lightweight for this, because I've got like an athletic outfit with arms. Yeah, arm armor and chest armor, because you can't have leg armor on this set. And the armor pieces I have, if you will look over here, I appreciate this is very exciting, but bear with me, um, are mostly pocketed, which means they increase my overall carrying capacity. I've just come back from something, so I guess I'm going to drop all this shit off. I don't know, it was a couple days ago that I played this. But there's a lot to consider, and if you try and shortchange yourself in terms of the stuff you bring with you, you can find yourself in a very bad situation. I went to go do something with just this pistol, this revolver, and it was not enough. This thing is actually quite hard to land headshots with on moving targets, funny enough. But I really don't like putting scopes on revolvers. Even now, in a do-or-die survival situation, I am still focused on like, yeah, but what's aesthetically pleasing to me? So agonizingly slowly, we gotta return to Red Rocket, which I have turned into a proper fortification, incidentally, because this is a zombie apocalypse. I think, have I got insomnia? I'm pretty sure my character has insomnia at the moment. Um. Yes, need more sleep, okay? So I think a solid 12 hours would do. Because it also means we wake up reasonably early, it will be light outside, we'll be able to see things before they get to us. All these things must be taken into consideration thanks to the goddamn weather mods I have as well, which makes it really foggy sometimes, which can make it impossible to fucking see anything. Food is certainly becoming an issue because I'm not finding a lot of meat out in the world. I am finding some and it's keeping me going, but for the most part, it's a little hard to... Hello, friend. How are you? Ooh. Oh, oh, but no, it's, it's cool, man. It's cool. I'll go the other way around. It's fine. But there are less wild animals to hunt and less meat to go around. Therefore, decent meals are quite hard to find. But we need to establish what we're going to bring with us. Hello, you stacked up unit. I don't know why you're going that way. There's no defensive position. Wait, hang on. Where are you going? Oh, I believe it, bro. But there's no defensive barricades around here. So I don't know where you're going. You can't go through there. There's no space. So we're... You know what? He's fine. He knows what he's doing. So that's clothing. Let's just dump shit. I tried to organize my shit as well because there's so much to sort through and you really don't want to be faffing around with it all in one box. Okay, so... So as far as I know, we're going up against zombies. Now, I believe the mission in, in question is to go fight raiders. However, when I went to Corvega to fight the raiders there, the place had been entirely overrun with zombies and the only raider left in there was Jared, who was killed fairly shortly afterwards. But it was still worth my time to go in there and actually fight the zombies because there was stuff to find. Buster, my double barrel, definitely gonna want that. That will get a zombie out of your face, believe you me. So I'm up to 76, we'll want a sidearm of some kind. Or oh, we could go for a rifle. I haven't done it here. Yeah, that's my rifle. Oh, that's my snipe. Right, that's my snipe rifle. Got... We could go shotty snipey. Yeah, that's a fairly light rifle. We'll go that way. Okay. And it keeps our inventory relatively uncluttered. What you're really going to want to do in something like this, because I've been stockpiling all the weapons I can find just in case, name the ones you use. 
so that you know what's good and what isn't. Powerful receiver, put that up to 135. Yes, my dude, I do believe that's what I want. I'd like to get full stock, but I don't have a high enough rank anyway, it's fine. Uh, probably should have upgraded this, but the headshots will do the trick. I don't need to worry too much. Bonk Buster and Tapper. I never said I came up with good names, but they will allow me to distinguish what the weapons are. All right, good. I think we might be ready. I am streamlining this process a little bit because we want to go do stuff. So Green Top Nursery, which is really far away. So this is going to be a bit of a trek. I think I've got everything I need. I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need. What do I even keep in here? Oh, this is my food and medicine cabinet, which I haven't put much food in. There we go. Every goddamn pound of inventory space helps. We're ready to go. It's horrible weather outside. It's foggy as shit. We're good to go. We're good to go. Go fight some zombies, probably. Maybe some raiders. Because I have been running into raiders out in the in the wasteland. They do exist. I even spotted a deathclaw somewhere near where I'm going now. So that's going to be fun. The interesting thing about the zombies in this game is that they do tend to roam around a little bit. So even if, like me, you know where all the enemies are in this starting area, it's not that simple. They roam. They move. They attack things and then hang around. So you always got to keep an eye out. I find that VATS is most useful not for just landing automatic shots, but for finding targets. If you think something's nearby, tap L1, see if you spot anything. Every time you hear... Every time you hear that, that's me scanning for targets, basically. It is necessary, because you can keep your head on a swivel, but things can still blindside you. I'm taking a weirdly direct route to my target, which means we may well run into things. But, you know, that's because I'm doing a video and I need to do stuff and things and have it be interesting. But a lot, and I mean a lot, of the game is kind of just this. It's traveling because you can't fast travel. Of course, I assume you guys know in survival that you can't fast travel. So a lot of it is just going places. And this is why you want to be prepared, because if you die, all this traveling was for nothing. This is wasted, wasted time. If you don't prepare and you don't try and find beds and remember where they are and sleep at them when you get to them. But I do love the effect that this weather mod and fog has on the world. Look how cold this looks, right? It looks cold, not like snowy cold, but it just looks unpleasant and dim. This is kind of what you would expect from a place that had been ravaged in such a way. It feels a little more hostile, it feels a little more dangerous. You can see, like, the little particles in the air. I don't pretend it's... Oh, hello. We have, we, have a, we have a contender. I don't pretend it's realistic. I don't know what realistic is in this context, but it looks damn good. I've lost him. Okay, he's there. A headshot's going to be really hard to pull off from this angle. Bam. Good shit. All right, we're going near the train tracks. Yeah, I see the issue now. I see the issue. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I need you to stay still. Sniping moving targets is really fucking hard. Come on, buddy. Ugh. Oh, there's one up there, too. I saw him. I saw him by the lamp. The lamp. Is he going to come through the door? Ah, oh, you bastard. Just stay still. Not yet, dog meat. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, you bastard. Fuck. Come on. Ah! No. Fuck. I fucked it. I've completely fucked it. Got him. Come on, buddy boy. You know you wanna. Oh, he really wants to. I missed. Oh, uh, uh. No, no, I'm already wielding Tapper. Buster. Fuck, I missed twice. Oh, I'm really bad at this. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, that body shot did fuck all. But a headshot with this thing will kill. And the spread gives you a good chance of landing the hit. But still, it's scary and dangerous. And they will just get you. And if they hit, I think I can last two hits before a zombie kills me. There's a Brahmin. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe there's a trap in there somewhere. I don't know for sure, but traps are lethal, especially when they're explosive. So let's, um, make sure dog meat doesn't run in front. Let's. There we go. Is there any... Yep, there it is. 
<laughs> you learn these things. You learn these things. You learn to be careful. You learn where the traps are. Hello. I think I just saw something over there. Might have just been the plant. Hard to say. It's tense. They could just get you. At any point, they could just get you. Let's switch to Buster in case one of them rolls up on me. There is a zombie nearby. There is a zombie. Oh, hello. I see. I must have blown his legs off. But leg damage doesn't do a lot to zombies, so it didn't kill him. It just incapacitated him, which was handy. Hey, guys. That helps. Oh, yep, yeah, that put them down. Cool, good. All right, just make sure no, 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 no more nearby. I don't have a lot of ammo. I've realized the issue with what I've done now, actually. Oh, no, I can't afford to be doing that. I can't afford to be wasting ammo like this. I should have brought a pistol. Killing these now means I don't have to deal with them later. I don't know where the other one went. He probably fell into the ground or something. This is still a Bethesda game. We just... Yeah, I see you there, you little bastard. There we go. Oh, and there's another one. Plot twist. Might be... Bu yeah, it's time for Buster. Don't slap my dog, you piece of garbage. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This time for real, please. Hurry, please. There we go. <laughs> I'll take care of you. I think we're good, even though this isn't where I wanted to go. But now I can travel through this area in relative safety. A lot of this is about clearing routes and knowing which routes you've cleared. And then every so often, just trying to clear out a little bit more of the area around your routes to ensure that nothing wanders over and ambushes you on your way through, and then you can relax a little bit while you go through these areas. Oh, well, that was a bed. It's a fucking kit. The fridge door. Yes, it would have been weird to have found a sleeping bag out in the middle of nowhere, but I'd argue a fridge door in the middle of nowhere is also rather peculiar. That's a graveyard. You know what? I think we might want to give that a wide berth. You know, just, just putting it out there. Maybe we should avoid that. Maybe, maybe in a world in which... A world in which the fucking corpses are, are coming back to life. We should stay away from graveyards. I don't know. Just putting it out there. But I hope in some way... Oh, God damn it. I hope in some... It's just... It's just dog meets footsteps. Every time I do that, it's dog meets footsteps scaring me. But I hope in some way... Oh, that was... A weird sound. Okay, one more time. I hope in some way this video may help you if you decide to do something like this yourself because it's a very fun, very engaging experience despite how quiet it looks right now. But it forces you to be smart and I really enjoy it. But there are some things you need to learn and some things you need to understand if you want to last more than five minutes. It'd be tempting to speed up a trip like this by sprinting, but sprinting's a bad idea if you run out of AP. I mean, AP and, and action points and, and, and vats are really handy for dealing with zombies because sometimes it can guarantee a headshot and if and if they spring up on me and i have no ap oh fuck that was a synth those are synths i'm not equipped to deal with synths okay all right fine heal your companion where is dog wait dog me what what happened Hang on. Fucking... Yeah. Yeah. I didn't assume the dog meat just fell over of his own accord. Now, it might be wise to avoid those synths. But they're always going to be here. If I ignore them, they'll remain a threat. Even if I could pick one off and perhaps get away, that would help. But I need to sneak on them. If they start opening fire on me... I've got a sniper rifle and a double barrel shotgun. I can only fight them either extreme range or really close range, and close range is dangerous. A legendary zombie, that's not what I wanted. This area is fucked. Just need to line, ah. Uh, do you think I can shoot him through the car window? I fucking doubt it somehow, and then he'll be alerted and then he'll come after me. You kill him in one, they can't mutate. Ah. Uh. Okay. 
I must have landed the first shot on like a, his shoulder or something. Fuck. It's getting closer. Okay, all right, all right. If dog meat's gonna do that, then we go into assist. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh, they can kill you in one hit easily. Ooh. Reduce falling damage by 50%. Not particularly valuable, but, but interesting. Now, there are still synths nearby, and I need to find out exactly where they are. I need a proper visual on them. As opposed to last time, where I just sort of caught a glance. A glimpse. A glancing glimpse. Where are they? Found them. Over there. See? That's, that is the true usefulness of vats. Is that area inhabited? If not, we could use this as a point from which to attack them from. Ooh, ooh. That's one down. Is there any decent cover around here? Not really, I'm just stood out in the middle of the- Ooh, ooh. Okay, 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 oh god. Oh, oh god, oh, oh god, ah. Duck. Hello there, sunshine. That's good. And... Bang. Got him. That's two. There are more, however. Since Strider, I think they're more dangerous. Stay here, dog meat. Don't risk his... Oh, no, he might be weaker. Hard to say. Oh, I blew his head off. There we go. We might need to take one of their weapons just so we have something to use, because uh, I'm really running up. Is that going to explode? Is that going to explode? I don't trust that. That scares me. It's on fire. It might explode. Mass fusion containment shed. Ah. Uh, that seems like a safe place to go into. Let's just stay away from that lorry. I don't... I'm scared. It was the lorry. Okay, we should... Oh, okay, I'm stuck. Oh, let's just get away from it. Let's get away from it. Wait for it to explode, then we can pick over the area. Because it's going to explode. It's just gonna. Let's just sit back for a minute. It's all right, dog meat. We're good. I would shoot it a few more times to speed it up. I can't spec... There we go. Good shit. All right. We're safe to proceed. If you, like, I can't stress this enough. If you think bullets are lethal, explosives are about five times as much. You will die if you get hit by an explosion. Now we need to make sure there aren't any more synths in that little camp of theirs. And it looks like there's bedding so we can rest as well. Now we've got a rifle. So we've got something to play with even if uh, this thing runs out of ammo, which it is really about to do. Let's sleep for an hour. We've made good progress. I don't want to lose it. I'm peckish from lack of food. That's okay. I have a bowl of delicious, delicious vegetable soup. Which did nothing. Uh, crispy squirrel bits. Uh, I'm properly fed now. This mode turns such mundane trips into real adventures. With risks and stakes and knockout, drag out brawls. I've been fairly lucky up to this point that I've had the upper hand in every engagement I've had. And that's only because I know how to have the... Uh, <laughs> how, how to have the upper hand in every engagement I've been in. It's getting really misty and it's going to become hard to snipe. Every dead zombie helps clear the road, however. Got him. Are there any more? They're not usually alone. But that one was. Handy. Good. Cool. Happy. Alright. Sweet. It is fucking spooky, my dudes. It is fucking spooky traveling through here. Anything can kill you and will do so easily and without hesitation. You gotta be- you're not stronger than them, so you gotta be smarter than them. You have to engage when it's favorable. Use Fabian tactics. I'm sure some of you know what that means. There's some strategy buffs in the audience. You know what that means. Hello, there's a fucking zombie over there. He's on the move. He's playing Dynasty Warriors. He's on the move. Fuck. Okay. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. You want to come over here? You want to... You want... Uh, not a good chance. That's better. Nope. Fifth. Oh, cock. Oh, cock. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, not tap up. Bust up, bust up, bust up. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. 
That's not ideal. Uh, 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 uh. You need to go. Oh god, you need to go. Dog meat emergency. It's all going wrong. Fuck. Oh my god, no. I'm running out of space to run to. Uh. Oh, thank Christ. There we go. Okay. We just, we just load up. We load up. We get ready. We get ready. We get ready. There we go. Oh. It get, I mean, you can just sort of run away, but like, you also can't. There's only so far you can run to sometimes. And they will catch you, and they won't stop trying. And like, if you keep just sinking bullets into their fucking chests, you won't stop them. And if there's more than two, which, hey, look, there is, in fact. It can get real problematic. Oh, fuck off. There we go. That's another crucial thing you should learn as well, actually. When you do VATS, the moment the bullet hits your target, press circle and cancel out of VATS, because you don't have time to stand around and watch the guy fall over. You've got things to do. <laughs> Can't be doing that. Don't have time. There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Dunwich Boris. Stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. I gotta be honest, bruv. Raiders are probably the least of your issues. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. It's probably been overrun with zombies by now. In fact, I'm 90% certain that's the case. But if I remember correctly, Dunwich Boris is a big fucking place. And it goes like underground and shit. And if I remember correctly as well, it's also quite a big place. I think that was literally what I just said, but my point is there was probably going to be a lot of zombies around there. Tapper is necessary for this moment. There's a lot of zombies over there. Did that not cap him? What? Oh, fuck. All right. Plan B. I'll give him something to think about. So it was really close. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, dog meat, you take care of that guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It all falls apart here. Uh, let's see. You. You need to... Oh, God, I can't. Okay. There we go. That took care of him. Somehow, luckily. He's got no arms, but I don't doubt the fact that he's probably quite dangerous. There we go, he's down. One more. Probably take that guy with the pipe rifle. Probably don't need Buster for this. Oh! 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 It gets scary. Do I have any more Molotovs? I've got one more. Why is this place so fucking scary? It's almost nighttime. I want to check that out, that little thing there, because if that has a bed... Yeah. <laughs> There's a bed down here. That would really help us. In the sounds of things, however, there are hostiles. Oh, machine gun turret. You know what? I'm good, actually. Uh, I'll sleep somewhere else. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's good. The problem is, the, uh, the settlement I just went to wouldn't let me use their beds. I've tried before. So, I need to find my own bed out here in the middle of the sticks in supremely hostile territory. Tapper? If I can at least cap one of them, it makes the situation much more manageable. That's one. Well, I've winged him. Back to bus dry, I guess. I lost sight of them, though. I lost sight of him though. Dog meat. Dog meat, do you see him? Oh, there's one. There's both of them actually. Luckily, they got stuck on a tree. Stay still. That is handy. That is handy. Stay still, buddy. I said stay still. Oh my god. I'm wasting shotgun shells. Oh my god. Oh, ah. Did that just kill me? I was, I was hoping for something a little more dramatic than that. So I'll, 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 
we'll, we'll cut we'll cut the footage here and cut back once I'm uh, on my way back to you know where we're supposed to be going. We'll, we'll do it that way. Okay, I'll be back soon. Bye bye. Oh god damn it. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I hate them. I think I accidentally hit dog meat. Okay. Okay, great. I'm a terrible human being. Cool. Alongside being a shit shot. All right, I've got the quest back again. Very good. And yes, I can't sleep here. God fucking damn it. Why won't you let me sleep here? I need to save. We're just going to have to be sneaky. That's all there is for it. We're going to have to be sneaky. Thing is, even if there is a named raider leader inside Dunwich Boris and the zombies will kill him, we need to actually get inside the building for them all to activate and attack the guy to kill him so that we can say that the quest is done and then get out of there. Which means fighting our way through what I presume to be a lot of zombies. Or at least sneaking our way through. But I haven't leveled up because I've been avoiding them up to this point as opposed to last time. So I don't have a sneak bonus and that's an issue. But maybe sneaking in... Hello, there's a zombie there. Maybe sneaking in would be a good idea. I don't know. I can't see the fucking zombie. The, where the fucking trees are freaking out. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them over there. What if, theoretically, we didn't deal with that and in fact instead went this way? Got seven rounds in Tapper. Uh... 21 sh shells in Buster. I've got Bonk. That's cool. And I think I have a laser pistol and a short pipe rifle. But I think we can do it if we... Get Ollie? Oh, this isn't Dunwich Boris. Okay, yeah, no, this is somewhere... This is a cool place. This is fine. Okay. I was confused. This is the slog. Yeah, the slog's a really good settlement. Can I sleep here? Will someone let me sleep here? I could really do with the save. What if I just tried to sleep in here anyway? Do you think they'll let me? Yes! Oh, sweet baby Jesus, we're going for the full 12 hours. We're going to wake up nice and ready to go. It's going to be daylight. We'll be able to see. Thank God for the slog. The slog's the best. I love the slog. Favorite settlement, bar none. Truly incredible. We've nearly gotten there. Very close. Oh. That's the sound of gunfire. I suspect the fucking boar, Domwich Boris might be under attack. I don't know. Anything's possible. Might be a bunch of zombies. It could even be zombies. What if it was zombies with guns? I can't fight a zombie with a gun. It's a big fucking place. Let's try and get a visual, see what's going on. Oh, the place is filled with raiders. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I can't take this. Oh, I see. Wait, why are the turrets damaged? Right, that's why. Seems the zombies only went for the turrets. Oh, wow, they just saw me straight away, didn't they? Cool, good, cool, good. Okay, well, it's going to be a gunfight. I don't think I can do this. Not if it's a bunch of raiders. I'm not equipped to deal with raiders. I'm equipped to deal with zombies. And even that was doubtful. But perhaps if we can lure them out a little bit. Who the fuck is shooting at me and where? What the fuck? Fuck. That was a good shot. On my part, says me. I'm running out of ammo. No, they didn't see me. They're just retaliating against something they can't see. It's cool. It's good. It's cool. Fucking ow. He blew my arm off. Apparently dog meat was not happy about that. Okay, well, fuck. All right, I can't really do that. <laughs> I don't have the supplies for it. And I don't think I have the right weaponry. I need to come back with like... Proper sniper rifles, not the shit ones I'm using now. Because I scored a headshot with Tapper and it did nothing. If I could sneak in. If I could sneak in. That might do it. Alternatively, if I was to really, like, guerrilla warfare them. They're all looking pretty fucking healthy, aren't they? Hey, 
headshot with that kill. Doubt it. We descend nice and chill. Like an absolute fucking ninja. Right. Now, unfortunately, this game isn't actually based on, like, you know, stealth. It's based on stats. Which is not good. Not good. Which. Uh, maybe don't. Maybe, oh, oh, God. I'm oh, fuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Uh, okay. 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 Well, okay. I'm fuck. I guess this. Yeah, it's the end for me. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, well, fuck. Yeah, I'm done. Cool. Okay. Great. Oh, no. I forgot about. Okay. If I get rid of the turret and then back off. I, I, I could perhaps sneak inside. I, I think I've got a plan. Get rid of the turret, then hide. Wait for the wait for the wait for the alert level to go down, and then get out of there. This is not really the challenge I was expecting. I was expecting to be fighting zombies, and that's not what's happening. There we go. It's a turret somewhere. There it is. I need to sneak in, take care of that turret. Quickly. Before the zombies are killed. There's a turret over there, I see. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, they're aware of me. This is the best I could oh, it's the best I could hope for right now. Oh, there's a turret over there. Okay, that needs to go. Nearly gone. One more bullet. That's all I've got. There we go. Okay. I need something else now. Uh, this'll do. <laughs> Fuck it. I suspect the zombies might be dead. I might be the only thing left fighting now. Oh, they don't know where I am. That's good. Alright, dog meat, we need to get to that fucking door. I know you're here. I can sense you. Whoa. 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 It sounds like a lot of ooh to make over a little Krabby Patty, right? <laughs> Wrong! Let's go! I'm gonna get to the door. There's no door here. The game lied to me. Okay, well, this is the end, really, isn't it? Uh, alright, Buster. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, go, 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 go. Nope, that's it, this is it. There we go. Okay, nah, fuck it. I can't do it. I don't think I can. Oh, you don't sell things. Okay, well, where are these, where are these super mutants? We could still have some kind of success. Right. Wait, seriously? What? Break heart banks, and I'm hit. That's really clock. Well, we should check that out. Maybe it would just be filled with zombies. Whoops. There are zombies nearby. That is a good sign. Or at least a sign. From downtown. Didn't do much to him. Didn't do much to any of them, actually. That's an issue. Oh, I'm gonna need to get Buster out, aren't I? Oh no, I think I missed! And I think they're everywhere! And I think I'm fucked! Cure! Okay, okay. Oh fuck, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I'm doomed. Oh no. Okay, 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 I'll tell you what, it's time for Bonk. That was you? Okay, get Buster out. All right, I've got it. Don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Ow, 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 You stay back, you stay back. Three stick. And you fuck off. Oh, God. All right, buddy. How'd you like this? Yeah? Yeah? What do you got? No balls. Oh god. No, you can't. Okay, this isn't working really, is it? When I actually think about it, it's not working. 
Oh, piss off. God damn it. Oh, I'm in the water. I'm in the drink. Uh, uh, where's my weapon? Okay. Oh. There we go. I'm going to pull some of my shotgun shells out of his face. Cool. That keeps me supplied. Where's dog meat? Oh, fuck. Hi. How you doing? I'm now hidden. Good. Okay. Well, there was a lot of zombies here. More than I really wanted to deal with, but we did deal with it, arguably. We need to assess the situation with the super mutants. See how many are there, if there are any super mutants. It could still just be zombies. I doubt we're going to be able to take on a group of super mutants, but you never know. Oh, zombies. Have I achieved the objective already? No, there are zombies. There are super mutants here, apparently. But there are also zombies, and that's a problem. That would be a more advantageous position to get to if we can get there without being detected. And good. Thank you for the ammo. Thank you for the ammo. Cigarette, thanks. I need it. Meds, purified water. Dirty water is actually handy. A lot of zombies here. All right. Hopefully. Oh, ah, I think I actually hit him in the head. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, it's Buster time. Buster Wolf! Fuck. No, I need to get out of here. This is a kill box. This is a kill. Oh, no. Oh. You know what? I think we're done for the day. <laughs> Maybe I'll come back to it. Who knows? If you enjoyed it, then let me know and I might come back to it. But I did this for fun and I did it because I wanted a slightly shorter video than usual because in the schedule, technically, today I was supposed to record Fire Emblem and those are really long recordings with really long editing times. So I just needed something a little quicker. But I hope it was still fun. I hope you still enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Whatever happens next time and maybe more Fallout with zombies? I don't know. Let me know what you think. If you want to see it, I'll do it because I love playing it so much. But whatever happens, hope I see you there. Doodles, goodbye.